afternoon viewers how are we this afternoon we are continuing with our look at my imported Elton John LPs I have here blue moods um, many fans don't enjoy blue moods blue moods has always been on my classic years list I regard it as a classic years, even though it's on Rocket and not part of Elton's number one run or early run. I still regard it as a classic years. I, I regard it as the last of the golden period. Um, I've had, I started off with a CD, the double CD. I still have the double CD. Um, then I've had two UK pressings after getting used to the, the UK pressings. Um, I can't listen to the CD anymore because I can hear um, just how poorly mastered the CD is compared to how good it sounds on LP. Um, many have complained um, that this suffers from poor vinyl it's a, a victim of its age at that time period the vinyl quality that they were using was poor it's the same with the, the rock of the westies and as a result of poor raw material being used in the production of records records from around that 75 76 period have lots of surface noise this one is clean I've, I've even the other one that i had the other blue moves was clean i didn't experience that um for the longest time i've i've, I've been chasing or i've, I've been chasing um, a south african pressing So there we see the rig sheet. I, I repaid, and then it was because of this cord stock, the thick cord stock that scratches the LPs. I have it in in um, it's on a rocket. I have it in um, inner sleeves. Uh, so where was I? Yeah. I've been looking for the longest time for South African pressing or this. You do get them, they, they're quite common. And there's the other one. Um, you get... It's, you'll, you'll find that it's pressed on Interpac, which is Galo. Pardon. Um, the South African version is pressed on Interpac Galo then which looks identical to this um, then you get the much more rare version which was pressed on autumn which has the two lp indicator there i think it was released on autumn first um, and i think they were course it was Elton's first record on Rocket Records that there might have been some confusion as to where his records must be released on it was released on Autumn then like I say if you come across a South African LP like this it's going to be on Galo in the back but I have seen the one with the two LP indicator there um, and that is on autumn now the autumn one is a thinner cord stock and as you know i do have a preference for the autumn pressings because of the thinner cord stock i i like the thinner cord stock i know that doesn't make sense some you generally want an lp to be thicker quality but i think the in the challenge is a challenge to get 
a copy of it, I would be like, you know, um, it's going to be hard to get that out beyond the thinner cardstock. And because it has a thinner cardstock, um, more often than not, the ones that are out there are messed up. Uh, so that's my go-to. Then I got this a while back. From Argentina, or oh, it's, it's an Argentinian pressing, and it's called simply just titled Elton John, and it's it's under the budget release El Rock in El Tempo or Tempo. So this is a series, a budget series, with various artists under this, where they take um artist albums and they, they do budget releases on them or well, they did so in the 80s mid 80s um, I like to think of this album as a condensed version of Blue Moves a one LP version because it is Blue Moves all the songs on your Blue Moves here we go Lado 1 Lado 2. So I like to think of it as a condensed blue moves. And um, Argentina is known for that. I did it with Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. They condensed it to one LP. The original press. Um, so yeah. How it sounds? Sounds okay. The UK sounds better, but if you were to play, it, you wouldn't. You you would have to listen. Ugh, it's, this one sounds a bit warmer, if I do remember correctly. It does sound a bit warmer, but you can't fault the sound quality of this budget release. It's also one of those thin records. Um. Okay, so I I did a video on this. Um previously but I'm gonna mention it in any case again. Um, these these song listings here, the title tracks, it's translated to what what language do they speak in Argentina? Spanish? So it's translated to Spanish. So but they they turn it around if you if you Google translate it, if you do a direct translation, then Piblo De un cabalo, one horse town. If you did a direct translation, it would be town of one horse. So I don't know, maybe that's just the way they speak in Spanish and it makes sense. But I found that very odd. Um, another one was sorry, seems to be the oddest word is perdon aperenta se la palabra mas difficult so pardon sorry appears to be a word most difficult interesting um, there was another one which was the other one the song good yeah yeah, I'm not sure which was the other one, but in any case, uh, I did another video on that. You can check that other video out. Um, moving on to the classic period. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.